Assalamu alaikum in the name of Allah the most gracious the most merciful I am Muhammad Yasin this is virtual class of Pakistan International School Taif this class is for the students of grade 5 we are going to do chapter 20 today and this is our 37th video in this class after today's lesson we shall be able to do grammar exercises 38-39 we shall be able to understand the passage given in chapter 20. We shall be able to understand the meaning and correct pronunciation of new words. We shall do exercises of chapter 20 also. This is chapter 20 of our grammar book. In this chapter we shall learn question making. We are said to read the following sentences. Rashid works hard. She went home, they play hockey. You have already learned to make questions with is, am, are, was, were. Do you remember? If there is a sentence in which there is, is, are, am, for example, he is a boy. He is a boy. If we want to change it into question, we shall write, is he a boy? When you have used works, went or play as the finite verb, then this is how you make a question. You have to divide the verbs as given below. Yes, students, if there is written verb with S, works, we shall split it into does work. Does will become in the beginning of the sentence and works will change into work. If there is written went in the sentence, it will be changed into did go. We shall write did in the beginning of the sentence and went will change into go. If there is do, sorry, if there is play in the sentence, it will change into do play. We shall write do in the beginning of the sentence. After you have broken the verb into two, as shown above, Bring the first piece, does, did, do, at the beginning of the sentence. As I told you, does will come in the beginning of the sentence, did will come in the beginning, do will come in the beginning. And keep the second piece, work, go, play, these are the second pieces. They will uh, be there where they are, where the original verb was and you have the question for example if there is written rashid works hard we shall change this works into does work when we have changed into does work this does will come in the beginning of the sentence and work will remain here you can say works is changed into work if there is written she went home, went will change into did go. Did will come in the beginning of the sentence and go will remain where it was. In fact, it was went, it is changed into go. If there is written they play hockey in the evening, play will change into do play. Do will come in the beginning and play will be there where it was. Uh, yes, students, this is exercise 38. We are going to do exercise now. We are said to change the following sentences into questions. The rule is same. Here you can see the bird sang loudly. Here is written sang, second form of the verb, and we know. We shall split it into did sing. Its question will be did the bird sing loudly? The fox got the piece of cheese. Got is again second form of the verb. And we know very well if it is second form, just like saying, we shall split it into did go, did get. Did the fox get the piece of cheese? She studies. There is S with the first form of the verb. And we know very well if it is S with the first form, we split it into does study. Does she study in class 8? 
Yes, student, this is the exercise. The birds sang loudly. And we know very well if there is written second form of the verb, we shall split into did sing. How shall we split it? We shall split it into did sing. Did the bird sing? Did will come in the beginning of the sentence. We have learned three rules. If there first, if there is first form, we change it into do first form. If there is second form, we change it into did first form. If there is s with the first form, we change it into does first form. Second form, second form, sang changes into did first form. Got second form changes into did first form. Studies S with the first form changes into does study. Went again second form of the verb. It will change into did go. Did will be written in the beginning of the sentence. Like. Like will change into do like. Barks will change into does bark. Play will change into do play. Eats will change into does eat. Work will change into do work. Comes will change into does come. Why does come? Because there is S with the first form of the verb. Okay, the sun rises in the east. Rises, S with the first form, it will change into does rise. The life of a king has, has will come in the beginning of the sentence. Part number 13, a lot of gas leaks. Leaks will change into does leak. She draws. Draws will change into does she draw. His friends often go. Go will change into do his friends often go. The doctor saw. Saw will change into did the doctor see. It is dark in the room. Is to change it into question will come in the beginning of the sentence. We have learned it before. If there is is, are, am, was, were, has, have, had, to change such type of sentences, we bring the verb in the beginning of the sentence. In this sentence, is, has come in the beginning to change it into question. Just like this, has, will come in the beginning of the sentence to change it into question. Sings will split into does sing. Does will come in the beginning of the sentence. Najam is a tall boy. Is will come in the beginning of the sentence. My sister is beautiful. Is will come in the beginning of the sentence. Part number seven. Akbar's brother went home. Went will change into did go. Here is was, was will come in the beginning of the sentence. It snows in Kashmir, snows will change into does it snow. Razia ate the apples, ate will change into did Razia eat. Nisar went, went is second form of the verb, it will change into did Nisar go. Mr. Asgar is, to change it into question, is, will come in the beginning of the sentence. Honey is the, sorry, honesty is the best policy. Is, will come in the beginning of the sentence to change it into question. The full moon looks beautiful. Looks will change into does look. Does will come in the beginning of the sentence. A thing of beauty is a joy. Is will come in the beginning of the sentence. 
Dear students, now we shall have a look of new words. Chance means the possibility that something will happen. Complain is to say that something is wrong. Cure something that makes someone with an illness healthy again. It is a verb also. It means to make someone healthy. Pinch. Pinch. To press someone's skin between your thumb and finger. Suck. To have something in your mouth and use your tongue lips to pull on it. Sentence structure of this lesson is herself, himself, itself, themselves. We shall focus such type of sentence structures in this lesson. This is our lesson. Let us start reading. I shall read main points for you. You can read it later in detail. Elephants are the biggest animals that live on land. On land, animals are the biggest ones. But some whales are bigger than elephants. But whales live in sea, not on land. On land, biggest animal is an elephant but if we say in the word then we shall say whales elephant is the biggest on the land not in the word at birth a baby elephant weighs about 91 kilograms that is the weight of a grown man it is about 91 centimeters high. When it reaches the age of 6 years, it is about 183 centimeters high. When it reaches the age of 12 years, it does not grow anymore. It may then be 320 centimeters high. Uh, African elephants are bigger than Indian elephants. African elephants have much bigger ears. This is second part of our lesson. Elephants have very long noses which we call trunks. Yes, long nose of the elephant is called trunk. No other animals have trunks as longer as elephants. The elephant can use its trunk to smell things and it can also pick up things with the tip of its trunk. The tip of its trunk can be used like a hand. Can you pick up something with the tip of your nose? The elephant uses its trunk to feed itself. It likes to eat leaves, young juicy branches of trees and fruit. It picks these with its trunk and puts the food into its mouth. When it wants to drink, it dips the tip of its trunk into some water. It fills its trunk and then blows the water into its mouth. The elephant washes itself in the same way. It fills its trunk with water and then blows the water over itself. This is his method to take bath. Two of the elephant's teeth are very long and strong. They are called tusks. You can see long teeth. They are called tusks. They use their tusks to dig up small trees and to dig in the ground for water. Elephants also use their tusks and trunks to lift heavy logs of wood. In some countries, wild elephants are caught and are taught to work. After a while, they are no longer wild, they become tame, they become very obedient, they do what their masters tell them to do. All day long, they work patiently in the hot sun, they never complain or refuse to work. They pull trees along and lift heavy logs. No animal is stronger than an elephant. This is part number four. Elephants have very strong legs. Their legs are like trees. Uh, they usually walk slowly because they are so big, but they walk very quietly. Wild elephants living in the jungle usually stay together in big families. Usually one old elephant leads them 
the others follow their leader they usually move about at night looking for food in the hot daytime they go to sleep in the cool shade of the trees elephants are kind animals when one of them is hurt and cannot pull itself on to its feet the other elephants lift it up and help it to walk some people say that elephants never forget they remember people who are kind or cruel to them there are many stories about this dear students this is first exercise we are said to choose the best answer the writers say that the biggest animal in the world are yes students biggest animal in the world here is written in the world not on the land in the world whales on the land elephants when it is born an elephant is about 91 cm high an elephant uses its tusk tusk for what for digging tusk are long teeth elephants in the jungle usually eat at night in this exercise we are said to put a tick by the true sentences and a cross by the untrue ones an elephant uses its trunk for digging trunk for digging is it correct no tusk for digging elephant uses its trunk for smelling yes trunk for smelling elephant tusk are really too big yes they are very really too big teeth wild elephants can never be tamed no they can be tamed when they are tamed they work for us elephants are good workers yes they are good workers elephants are the strongest animal in the world yes they are the strongest elephant make a lot of noise no 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 they don't make a lot of noise when they walk Uh, some people say elephants have good memories yes animals have good memories dear students in this uh, exercise we are so set to make sentences how many good sentences can you make uh, let us try to join i i enjoyed i cut i taught i burnt i behaved in this exercise it is very important to remember we shall say i enjoyed myself i cut myself we cannot say i enjoyed yourself no i enjoyed himself no i enjoyed herself no i enjoyed itself no we can join enjoy i with myself only you will join with yourself he with himself in this way i enjoyed myself i cut myself i taught myself we can make five sentences by using i five sentences by using you five sentences by using he five by using she five by using it in this way we can make 25 sentences from this table let us move to table b we can make we hurt ourselves we wash ourselves we dried ourselves we can make five sentences by using we five sentences by using umar five 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 in this way we can make 25 sentences from this table also add the missing words you can see here he cut her himself he changes into himself we all enjoyed ourselves we changed into ourselves if you play with fire you will burn yourself this you will change into yourself he cut himself he changes into himself 
we all enjoyed ourselves we changes into ourselves you this you change into yourself she washed she will change into herself the horse hurt itself if there are animals we write itself for them we enjoyed ourselves because we changes into ourselves the children are old enough to look after themselves children are plural for them we shall write themselves while they they will change into themselves when a dog dog will change into itself she she will change into herself during the recess they enjoyed themselves they will change into they will change into themselves he taught himself he will change into himself this he will also change into himself to cheer himself he always changes into himself boy will change into himself we should take care we will change into uh, old to look after themselves we should take care of people people will change into themselves uh, this he is here he will change into himself she she is changing into herself yes students we have done that exercise and this is exercise 5 in this exercise we are said to put in all punctuation and capital letters Oh, cried Uzma, I've cut myself. Oh, O will be in inverted commas. There will be inverted comma before O and after O here will be comma, cried Uzma. U of Uzma will be capital because this is the first letter of the name. After Uzma comma, I've cut myself. This will also be in inverted commas before I inverted commas begin before self inverted commas closed and after i this is apostrophe this is used here to write i have in short form how did you do that this is a question the whole will be in inverted commas before it inverted comma will begin and after the question mark inverted comma will close asked tim T for Tim is capital because Tim is the name and first letter of name is always capital. I was sharpening a pencil and my knife slipped. This whole will be written in inverted commas. Inverted commas begin. Inverted commas closed. Here will be comma said Uzma full stop. After Uzma full stop and U of Uzma will be capital because this is the first letter of the name dear students we have completed all the exercises of chapter 20 which were given in the book now we have come to our workbook this is our workbook page 46 chapter 20 and let us do this page Part number one, what has he done? He has hurt himself. This is given. Can you see he has hurt himself? Who is she looking at? Who is she looking at? Try to tell the answer. She is looking at herself. What will be here? She is looking at herself. Let us move to the next part. Who is he laughing at? Who is he laughing at? He is laughing at himself. Who are they laughing at? They are laughing at themselves. Yes, they are laughing at themselves. Who is she washing? She is washing herself. Herself will be here. 
let us move to part number six look at the cat who is it washing dear students cat has a habit that it washes herself itself cat washes itself who is it washing it is washing itself it is washing itself who is the dog shaking the dog is shaking itself what have they done they have hurt themselves they have hurt themselves dear students we have completed workbook chapter 20 also in your homework you will do grammar exercise 38 and 39 in your notebook and then you will read the passage given in chapter 22 times to get better understanding of the passage given in this lesson after that you will do all exercises of book and workbook chapter 20 workbook you can do in the workbook but the exercises which are done in the book will be done in the notebook don't do the exercises in the book do those exercises in your notebook dear students that is all from our today's lesson see you in a new lesson goodbye